beautiful, beautiful aqua, the world, successful completion in this deck. You know, the t this is a time of incredible accomplishments. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. So basically enjoy, celebrate. It is your birthday month, okay, guys? And just bask, bask in this new completion. You are starting. You guys are in this mindset, sh mindset shift of a new chapter. And if you commit to it, I really see ten of pentacles here for you, like, is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, like cycle, cycle, change, 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 change. So um, definitely going for it. Um, so it's going to be a very, for a lot of you, it's definitely going to be a, a very um, successful year. So give me more of this. The soul's transition, soul's transition for Aquarius. Yes, beautiful. So reconciliation. So it looks like you guys will have a reunion with a loved one in the horizon. So if you guys are looking for that, you know, maybe once you stabilize your life, you're going to either reconnect with someone, a long lost soulmate, or it's just a reconciliation with a soulmate, right? Um, a lot of times we're connected with our soulmates anyways through the spiritual realm and we may reconnect and reunite here in the 3D. But this next one is igniting your passions. Yes, find this, find that something or someone that speaks to your heart, lifts your mood, and sparks your and, and sparks your creativity. If related to work, do what you love. And I do feel there's an, an ignition, like you're being ignited here, your passions, everything. It's just really good energy. I mean, that sun energy we're getting in the main energy here is not like it really is. It's a really positive, high vibration energy in this energy here, Aquarius. So we've got, oh, I allow myself to have faith in my inner guidance. Beautiful. So continue to have faith. This is where you start to trust yourself. And yeah, I allow myself to celebrate my uniqueness. So you're going to be celebrating you, trusting your intuition more, trusting what you feel. Your faith is very increased here. Again, very high vibrational Let's see what you need to surrender, though. What does um, Aquarius need to surrender? <sighs> surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. And I think this is just surrendering to your inner guidance. So once you surrender to this inner guidance, you have faith, you're already in the place of what is, right? It's the manifestation stage with um, the universe, right? Allowing things to, to be on the receiving end, allowing things to flow, most importantly. So scale my spirit, give me more on this energy for Aqua Aquarius, please. Other guidance for Aquarius. Very strong energy. So intuition, everything here. Very spiritual here, Aquarius. I always love your reads, Aquarius, because you guys are always so spiritual in your reads. Very mature. I love doing Aquarius's reads. But you're very much in your, your heightened awareness. And when we're in the high priestess, that's a heightened awareness. So this is about what we can manifest. Empress energy, abundance, rejoice and celebration. What can we do to really keep our lives in celebration? Again, birthday energy here. So very, you know, new age, new you. And so this, this is a celebration of where you've, how far you've come. Um, number three, representing mind, body, and spirit. So this is a unity within yourself as well. Emotionally feeling good. Base chakra, very focused, I feel. Um, there's a lot of healing here too. And throat chakra. The fact that we have two chakras, I, I feel this is just the, the cleansing and the shift of this new cycle of how you're going to operate. 
So the base chakra, you're found, you're you're going to be grounded differently, and your throat chakra is because of the confidence level that you're going to. That's why I'm feeling that Leo energy. This strong take charge confidence level. Here we have the chariot, which means is is a determination for change. And I always associate that with progress and success with you know work. You know, the things we do on a work level, right? For our for our passions, to bring in our our money. So Right, Hierophant wants to pop out. Get more of this High Priestess spirit. The star, beautiful. That's your energy, Aquarius. You are embodying your element very strongly. So celebrate you. Celebrate your strength. Celebrate your intuition. Celebrate how far you've come. Celebrate all the knowledge you've acquired. Yep, fool's approach. Enjoy this new leap. Enjoy where the unknown. Enjoy just, it's a very, um, you know, ch childlike approach to this fresh energy where you're, the, the willingness and the, the the freedom right now. So give me more of this rejoice and celebration. Why the Three of Cups? So much to really celebrate for here. Tower and Eight of Cups. So bringing about this change, this tower. I'm going to clarify this tower. But walking away from, you know, whatever didn't serve you, obviously. Like, there's so much you're leaving behind. It's more of a decision. And it could be that nothing's happening. It could be that things happen in the far distance. And right now, this tower is about a decision and this really big commitment to celebrating you again the balance between your mind body and spirit but the abundance you know empress energy give me more on this tower wow the death talk about making sure changes change so the death to the eight of swords and the four of cups no more being discontent so this is a the tower was this uh, this mental change to change to transform to look at things differently to get out of this eight of swords stagnant energy um and take charge of your life that's what i'm feeling you know it's uh you've been through a lot aqua in order to get here which is why we have all these chakras because you've rooted yourself differently and again i feel that strong leo energy with with the confidence six of wands right recognizing how far we've gone gone which also is leo energy can we more of this base chakra Beautiful high priestess and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you know what you need to do high priestess again with the star You're very focused on your stability. So again, this is about your stability and You've come a long way. So this is definitely a celebration You need to celebrate you. You know, you're in this high vibe energy um, This understanding on a spiritual level you've learned you've learned your third eye is very clear and open um, from these experiences. So it, it it's like a lesson from a very low, low, for a lot of you, low, low, low part, a point in your life. And now you're doing well. And now you're embodying. And now you've just come with so much lesson and wisdom. This this energy to me with the, the high priestess and the nine of um pentacles it's very untouchable like no one can shake you no one's gonna shake this base it's very firm and strong we were in the throat chakra we were in the throat chakra and there goes this justice and the page of cups so finding um emotional balance within our um the way we we express ourselves being fair i also feel an emotional intellect here where like you know how to express yourself here even with things that you can't see the moon i also am hearing conquering the shadow aspects of you the shadow aspects that are projected to you and you know how to quickly bring that into justice because it's not going to interfere with your dreams, page of cups, your flow, um, and your emotions. Because again, 
High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles is unshakable. Your root is so strong that you're able to really just express yourself in ways that um, this can make people uncomfortable, but this is your time, judgment. It was faded, right? This was faded at this point for you to arrive and you've arrived and this is definitely a stage of completion. So, all right, let's see what is your energy of abundance here. Aquarius. All right, we've got few, beautiful. We've got employment change. So a lot of you, again, so inspired, things are changing. Your career path is leading you to, in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, exactly, igniting your passions and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. For new, you are being supported each step of the way and definitely, definitely talk about lots of support here for the new. We have words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Oh my God, an abundance mindset. I mean, uh, and this abundance, abundance, again, that's Empress energy. You're not, no one can touch you right now. Aquarius. So this abundance mindset, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, speak of abundance as something you are already having in the present moment. And that is what we'll experience. You will experience. So uh, beautiful. Give me more guidance for Aquarius. So much abundance. I, I'm very happy for you guys. Surrender. Yes. This situation asks you to surrender to the divine plan, let go of control, and watch your life return to a peaceful state. So much is happening and divine timing. The universe has got your back. Trust that everything will work out when the time is right for it. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Oh my God, someone please claim this reading. Aqua, wow. Oof, this is intense. And nothing. On days, I feel like nothing. I remember that vast nothingness of space. There is beauty in the state of nothing. You know, on those days, you remember those tower moments you had, right? That brought you into the space of nothing. Because it's sometimes when we're in this eight of swords and four of cups, we're like, what is going on? But like I said, you're, this powerful, liberating space of the nine of pentacles and the high priestess there is a comfort that happens in the space of nothing and there is beauty in the state of nothing so you start to find beauty even when you it, it it's i can't even describe it you know what it feels like because you know it really is such a liberating space so um whoever is experiencing i know i know how you feel i know what you're feeling and i um many blessings because once you own that, no one can take it away from you. So um, congratulations to those. And really, claim this reading, Aqua. Love it. Um, Aqua, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe.